North Carolina has always been a good place for Merck to be. Um, if you think about trying to be in a band or trying to run a record label from from inception, you know, when you have no resources, it's best to live somewhere where the rent is cheap and and supplies are cheap and people have free time because they don't have to work all the time. Um, so that they can, you know, be in a band. They have time to be in a band and rehearse and do all the the, the hanging out that you have to do if you're going to be in a band. Um, <clears throat> early on when we started Super Chunk, people were like, "Why didn't you move to New York City?" And and I was just like, "Well, why would we do that? Because then we'd have to like rent rehearsal space, haul our amps and our guitars to the rehearsal space, and work our butts off to be able to afford to pay rent." This was a great place to incubate that kind of um, lifestyle, along with a whole bunch of other people that could do the same thing. I also think that North Carolina is super interesting uh, place to make music and be in a community of artists because the politics here are, I'll just say interesting, for lack of a better word. and. But even then, you know, there was uh, certainly with Ronald Reagan in in the White House, there was a lot of punk bands protesting about Ronald Reagan and talking about um, that kind of stuff in the eighties. But in North Carolina, in particular, we had Jesse Helms as our senator. So punk bands around here had a lot to talk about when they were <laughs> talking true. when they're talking about politics. And so I think that it was a great place to be, to see how progressive people can live and express themselves and try to change things when maybe the, the overarching politics are regressive. Uh, it's very inspiring for us as artists and running a company and running a business here um, to partake in that partake in the thing that we've seen other people do, you know, in the past.